really important, the business, because if you don't if you don't have any like business knowledge or you're not gonna get far, like music is part of it. But you gotta like brand, you gotta know about branding, you gotta know about it's like, majority business. Like you gotta know about the business, right? <laughs> What's good you guys? Welcome to Winging It, the show where we ask our guests flavorful questions fueled by Wingstar. I'm your host of the Saints, and I'm excited to introduce our next guest today. Man, he's been making major ways around the city of Toronto, represent his Ghanaian roots, well known for his dance hall, Afro beat, reggaeton, and R&B music, and recently just dropped a song called Glow Up, featuring Keish, that just hit over 100K on Spotify streams. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it by <laughs> Brother, thank you for coming on, man. Thank you for having me, I appreciate it. Absolutely, absolutely. Appreciate How are you feeling today? I'm feeling good, man, I'm feeling good. The set looks amazing, I'm a fan of your work too, thank so. Thank you, come on, man. I'm happy we, to be here. We don't know, we, like, we, we, yo, we, we go way back, we man. Do. It's we just do. like, you know, like, just like, we work together, man. You made you've been on like major festivals. Thank you, thank you. Thank and I'd love you. to know like your name, Gali Bonzu. Where did it all come from? Speaking of, I think we met at the Vanguard, right? Yes. That was a huge event. Too, that was. By the way. <laughs> you know, I got to perform there, so that was a huge event. No, it was an amazing performance. But um, but as far as Bugatti Bantu, um, so Bantu is my last name. Wow. So that's that's number one. Amazing. And number two, the Bugatti. You don't really see a lot of people driving Bugattis on the road and stuff. So I just felt like. As an artist, I'm a unique artist. I don't really come across mm. a lot of artists like me, so mm. that's what he wants to. <laughs> I love that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, so I'll do some research, and you said like you 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 fell in love with doing music around ten, but you didn't end up uh, taking it in the kind of serious until like twelve years later, till you're twenty two. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe it's because they're, they're passing they're passing your brother yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'd yeah. love to know just like. Um, just what, like, what was the inspiration? Why did it take like so long for you to kind of take everything serious? That's a great question. Um, like you said, I've been writing music like my whole life. Like, like you said, since I was like 10, 11, writing like literally like full length <laughs> tracks. And I have like a notebook of like, like over 100 tracks. Ooh, so at that young age, <laughs> writing those tracks is, is crazy, right? But I was always nervous to be an artist because I just didn't have the confidence. I felt like I wasn't good enough to actually like be an artist, you know? I felt like I was just gonna be like a behind the scenes guy, right? But Absolutely. after I lost my brother, I just decided, you know what, life's, life's too short. Thank Absolutely. you, brother, life's too short. Like, why not just have no fear and do it, right? So Absolutely. that's what motivated me. Yeah, that's what motivated me. Yeah, I love that, yeah. man. So that's why it took so long, because I didn't have the confidence to do it. Absolutely, yeah. and um, what was it called? So the, the passing brother, like how how close were you guys prior? Uh, yeah, we were really close. We were yeah. super close, right? So I mean, yeah, you don't expect things like that to happen, right? Absolutely. So because of that, I actually dedicated, I have a clothing line called No Fear Movement, mm. which is dedicated to him. My first EP was called No Fear, which is dedicated to him. So like wow. when I first started, I kind of had like this whole No Fear brand, which kind of uh, was because of him, right? Wow. So, so it's, a, it's a universal message to everybody. Absolutely. That means that like, you know, you just gotta live life with no fear and just, whatever you want to do, just do it. Like Absolutely. you're never gonna be, you might, not, you might feel you're not good enough, but you just gotta kind of go for it and just, do it. I love that. I love how you still yeah. like obviously, you know, it's just passing, but you still keeping close within your music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Your clothing brand, yeah. you know, the first uh, the EP and everything. Thank you, That's thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, well, before we move on to more questions, yeah. so we have a game. Yeah. Every episode we play this game called Find Your Flavor. Right. right? So we have we have uh, the uh, one that we have wing stop wing uh, wing stop wings yeah. in front of us. So we have four flavors. So what you have to do is basically kind of guess a number, so pick a number. We'll eat a wing, right? And then basically you just have to guess the flavor. And then you have 10 seconds to actually see what kind of flavor it is. Jeez. All right, let's get it. All right, pick a, pick a number. <laughs> oh man, all right, let me go with number one first. Number one? Yeah. Okay. Number one. Woo, it's looking juicy. It looks super the good. The flavor is on this, is insane. <laughs> so what, just dig in, dig, dig in? in? Yeah, all right, cool, cool, in. cool, sounds good. Come on, you want more? We have, there's lots. <laughs> all right. Mm. This is good. Oh, this man. is good. Shout out Wingstop. Shout out Wingstop. Shout out Wingstop real quick. What do you mm. think? What do you think the flavor is in this one? Man, this is... It kind of has like a sweet... Sweet a little bit, yeah. Sweet yep. a little bit. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Is this a sweet Thai, maybe? What is this? It's, no, it's Korean. Mm. Korean chicken. I was about to say that. <laughs> it has like a Korean little taste to it too. A little, little Korean little taste, oh, you know? Man. man. Um, but, but it has a sweet taste too. It does, it does, you know. Shout out to Wingstop real quick. Bronca, you've been in the industry just for like, for, for many years, right? Yeah, I've been doing it. 
Uh, can you share maybe a couple lessons you have you have learned that carried on with you? Uh, lessons, I would say, you just, you gotta block out the noise. You can't really listen to what people have to say. It's gonna be a lot of haters, a lot of negative energy, people telling you this, that, but you just gotta, you know, block that and just do what you wanna do. How did you- I believe in yourself, you gotta believe in yourself. That part. Mm. Yeah, I tell a lot of people, like, you know, everyone wants to get in this game, but if you do not, like, believe in yourself and work on you, like, it's gonna be hard to really kind of like, cause there's a lot of networking, a lot of business, not, not just the music. If people it's think not, it's, just, it's people not. People think it's just it's the not. music, it's there's a lot more it's to it. It's a lot of that. And like, how, how could, what's, what's one thing you can share to the artist? Like how important is the business, you know, by, with, with being an artist and everything? It's really important, the business, cause if you don't, if you don't have any like business knowledge or you're not gonna get far, like music is part of it, but you gotta like brand, you gotta know about branding, you gotta know about like, Majority business, like. You, you gotta know about the business, right? So yes. I mean, that's key, right? And um, it, it takes a lot of sacrifice though. Like you have to sacrifice relationships, friendships, like relations, like a lot of different things, right? You gotta Absolutely. really like put your all into this, right? Absolutely. And yeah. one thing I love about you is like, I love how you carry yourself. Thank you. You know, is that you carry yourself very professional. Yeah. You, dress, you dress well all the time. Thank you. You know, <laughs> and it's like, you know, cause a lot of people like, un like underestimate that, right? Yeah. Um, so, but you, so you, you're on these big, big stages, right? Like how, like, how do you get the opportunities to kind of like, get yourself in to start performing on a kind of festivals and it's like on like performing on stage and stuff like that. Yeah, so last summer was crazy. I did like so many, like a lot of like big festivals, big stages, shared the stages with like some legends, like, you know? Hey, well, who, who, who are some of the legends? Ah, uh, like Beanie Man, Come on. Um, Alkaline, Dexter okay. Naps, Jada Kingdom. That's a big, that's a big even like right there. even Smiley, you know? Come on. TV Gucci, a lot of people. So it was, it was definitely a great year. Um, Tron's very young. Exactly, right? But, um, they reached out to me. I don't. I don't know. Like they. Wow. See, I guess they see me putting in work. I didn't reach out. Like all the performances that I did last year, they all reached out to me. I didn't reach out to anybody. So like, wow. Yeah. But it, 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 I might be surprised though. <laughs> you know the work you put in. I look at my. D I look at my DMs or my emails and I just see, hey, you want to perform here? And that's it. I love that, man. Mm. Okay, so Ron, Ron to the next thing, right? Uh, so you pick number one, the first one. What's the What's the next number you're picking? Ah, uh, let's go at number four. Number four, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Let's do that, let's do that. Ooh, okay. Jeez, okay. Go let's ahead, brother, it. go ahead. Let's take it, this is long, right? This one with No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is, it is. All right, all right, cool, let's try this one. Let's try it. Mm. Mm, this is good. Okay. I like this. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. It definitely has like a lemon taste to it. It does. So I'm gonna go with lemon. Okay. <laughs> That's partial name. Huh? That's partial name. There's another, there's another, there's one more, there's one more, one, one more little word to it. It's Winslow's famous one, man. Think of Rick Ross. Oh, um. The worst of this song. <laughs> Oh, lemon pepper. Lemon pepper. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I love got that. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> okay. So, do you do you wings at all? You I do. Wings? I, love, I love wings. What they, What would you prefer? Um, drums, drums or flats? Um, drums. Drums. Why drums? Um, I don't know. I just like them. <laughs> As I'm a drums guy too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like to me, it's like so much meat in there. Yeah, I, yeah. It's easier. Exactly. You know, exactly. That's, that's my opinion. It's a lot more meat. <laughs> Calm below. What's your favorite, uh, favorite, uh, yeah, favorite us, wing? Jones or Flats, man? So can you tell us about your song, Glow Up? You know, it was trying rapper Keish. Like, how did that all come together? How that? How did you guys unite? Yeah, yeah, so that record, I knew that I wanted, um, it's not like a, you know, a girl anthem, you know? Absolutely. For the, for the girl, for the girl, you feel me? So, <laughs> so yeah, so I basically, uh, I was with my engineer one day, I told him, you know, the idea that I had, and he created the beat, and, you know, and then once I recorded the track, I'm like, yo, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get a female rapper on this record. You feel me? Jeez. So there's a lot of dope, you know, female artists in the city. So shout out all you guys. But something about oh, Keish, yeah. I, I decided like I gotta hit Keish up, and Amazing. she was down right away when when I DM'd her, right? And uh, yeah, that was the rest is history. Jeez. Feel me? Did you guys know each other prior? Nah, we like we were following each other on Instagram, oh, wow. so liking each other's pictures, just you know, showing love. So I love that. I knew the energy was there because like, she would comment on my Absolutely. stuff, comment on her stuff. So. But I didn't actually meet her until we did the record. I love yeah. that though because a lot of people, and like especially in the, I know it's probably worldwide some places, but in Toronto, 
a lot of people don't collab as much. Nah, they don't. You know, yeah. and yeah. but I love how you guys, how you can easily, like, yo, I'm a, I want to just put on my trash. Tracks. You know, you're not, you're not like, you don't have that like kind of like um, sat around you like I, I, I'm trying to do this by myself, or whatever. Nah, you nah, want never. To pull never that, never that. I love doing collaborations because. You build your fan base more when you collaborate with other artists because then Absolutely. You, you know their fans see you type thing. So that part, that part. That I and mean, sometimes collaborations like they add stuff to the track and you know all of that. So love them, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You also have another sick track called "Touch It." Thank you. You know what I'm saying? You, thank you. And, you know with uh, Fame Holiday and, and Luch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So again, like, how did all that come together? Yeah. So with that too, like, because when I was doing all those records, um, like the "Touch It" record was on my EP "Ladies Love" that I dropped. Uh, Summer 2021. Amazing. So that record was, that EP, there's a lot of different type of tracks on that. So that one was more like a reggaeton type track. Yep. So I had to get Luch on there. Luch, 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 is, <laughs> Luch, Luch, is, uh, Luch is my dog. He's sick. Like he's, as far as Latin artists, he's one of the best in the city, right? Amazing. And then no, Fame. He's amazing. Yeah, yeah. So for, at first it was only me and Luch on the record, right? Wow. And then Fame was hitting me up. He's like, yo, we should do something. And I'm like, yo, I think you did something dope on this touch record. Absolutely. And he did. He killed it. So shout out to Fame. And he's my guy. Like, we're cool. So It's crazy. We yeah. have Fame We have fame here a uh, couple, like, last week and okay. everything. So it's cool. Yeah. And it's like, it's crazy because of the music video, though. That video was crazy. It was spicy. <laughs> it, was, it, was a, it was a fun shoot. <laughs> <laughs> what was the kind of inspiration behind just, um, the, the music video and everything, because I was looking at the music video, I'm like, man, y'all all like, you know, some fine, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. A, you know, we had a lot of girls in there, the <laughs> watch, the paint scenes, right. you know, all of that, like, you know, it was, it was crazy. So shout out uh, Voodoo Vision, he directed the video. Amazing, shout out um, Voodoo But yeah, like he, he, you know, I don't know, we kind of both collaborated with the idea, with Amazing. the car wash, um, with the paint idea, you know, so um, yeah, that was a fun video. I love that, man. I love that, man. You're, you're, you're killing the game, man. You're consistent with everything you're doing. Thank dropping you. single, making music. Thank it, you. Dropping music videos. Thank I applaud to you because a lot of people, it's, it's inspiring because a lot of people in the city, like, they need to do more of that, you know what I'm saying? Right, so right. just like people like people like you, like famous, it's like, you, like you guys are actually just showing the next generation of artists of like, hey, like, we're from the city. This is what we're doing. Look, it works. It is it, much needed, you know? So I love that. Next, next, next flavor, man. So you picked one and four. All right, what, let's go with, uh, man, let's go with three and I'm gonna come back to go, go to three? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, okay. Jeez, all right. A little, a little dry this one. Okay, I'm excited to try these. All right, let's see, let's see, let's, let's see. Mmm. Mmm. It's a nice. Yeah, this is good too. A little dry taste, a little bit, mm -hmm. you know? Mm. It's so juicy. Yo, shut up, Wingstop. Man. You guys Wingstop. have some good wings. <laughs> Is this your first time trying Wingstop? I never had Wingstop, wow. actually. Wow. First time. Amazing. Man. Mm. What's your guess? What's your guess? Oh, man. Um, Is it salt and pepper? Salt and pepper? Yeah. No. Mm. Lu Louisiana rub. <laughs> Louisiana rub. Okay. L Louisiana spice, you know? Makes sense. It's good yeah. though. You dropped a lot of tracks with some fire features in them. Mm -hmm. Out of all of them, who would you think is your fire feature? The best one? Best one. That's hard to say, man. Your top three. Give me the top three. <laughs> <laughs> That's so crazy. I don't I don't know, man. I, I hate ranking them. Cause I feel like everybody brought like something different to each track. Okay. Who would you have the best vibe? You know, it's the best vibe in the, like, you know, we're creating a song. Oh man, that too. Um, you know what, I don't know. I like them all, but maybe I'll, maybe I'll go with Kish, cause I just feel Kish. like that was the most recent one, and then, and then we did the most performances together. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. yeah, more like the connection. Yeah, more the then. connection. We did like a lot of a lot of performances together. Love that. Um, she came out to a lot of, yeah, we did a lot of big ones together, so shout out, shout out Kish. Love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So, and it was on the radio, like heavy rotation. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> shut up, shut up, Flo. Shut up, Flo, real quick. <laughs> <laughs> and so, who, who's, who is like, who's your your dream collaboration? If you could pick anybody in the world. Anybody in the anybody. world. Anybody. Oh man, uh, one artist. One artist. And why? Jeez, that's tough. Right, love. That's tough, man. That's tough. Um, man, I would probably say, oh uh, man, um. Even I guess maybe Drake. I guess Champagne Poppy. Champagne Poppy, you're in the city, real quick. <laughs> I just feel like once you get that Drake co sign, it's just like, yo, absolutely, that's it, that's it. You feel me? So I love that, man. Yeah, I think we would do something dope together. But like, there's I, a lot of artists that I feel like I would, you know. But I mean, him is like, he's the Toronto legend, his very own, right? Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. And 
Um, speaking, speaking of like kind of Toronto artists, we have we have a lot of artists options in the city, right? Yeah. Is there anybody in the city like trying to Toronto based that you listen to? Like, like what's like your top five any kind of art, Toronto artists that, that you listen to? Man, that's a, that's a definitely a difficult question. Like, <laughs> I listen to like a hundred. Like, there's so Crazy. many like, <laughs> from all different types of genres of music, right? So like, because I'm very like big on like different styles of music. So I listen to everybody, right? But I mean. Man, um, there's a lot of dope artists. There's this guy named uh, Bushman. He's super dope. Wow. Okay. Yeah, like he, he's a rapper, but he has like some Afro style to him. Like, he's okay. Super, he's super sick. Um, who else? Um, CBG. They're another like dope group. Okay, CBG. They're, like an Afrobeat group. Shout out to CBG. Yeah, they're super dope. Um, who else I listen to? Um, myself, obviously. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Uh man, who else? Pyrex is super dope. Pyrex, shout out yeah, Pyrex, yeah, man. Yeah. I, love his, I love his music. He's Absolutely. versatile. He can do it all. Like, I love how he's getting out his, his element, just yeah, posting yeah, more yeah. content and everything. Exactly, it's like crucial. he's dope. Um, man, man, man. I don't know about anybody, but unless there's so many. One more, um, one more. Man. Um, Loves a lot. I know, I'm the worst. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, who is the last one I'm gonna mention? Um, well, shout out Keish, because we've been talking about Keish. Absolutely. Shout out her. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Keish, I yeah, love yeah, that, man. Yeah, yeah. All right, we have one more. One more flavor, number two. Number two. Number two. <laughs> Let's see what it is. Let's do it, man. Hold Ooh. on, this is, this is cheese, right? This is cheese. Can't oh, eat cheese? Man, nah, I don't eat cheese. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. At least, at least smell cheese. it. At least try to smell it, let me, 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 me guess. Uh, it smells like Parmesan for sure. Um, yeah. I think eat cheese, but you know the cheese. Yeah, boy, it's definitely <laughs> Parmesan. The flavor, I would say, is like what? I don't know. Parmesan something. Um, I don't even know. <laughs> like, I can't even taste this. I don't know what you else. Got parmesan, like. right? Garlic Parmesan. Garlic Parmesan? Yeah, right, cool, half cool, right, cool, half cool, right, cool. you know. Yeah, if I was able to taste it, I'd know, like. The... Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All right, cool. Sounds good. Sounds, Sounds good. good. Yeah, basically, I was like half right, half right. So in yeah, total, in total, total, he was like, you know, 1.5 out of 4, you know, it's, it's okay, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but man, you made, you make a lot of different kind of genres of music. Is there any like, specific things you want your listeners to gain from your music while listening? I want my listeners to know that uh, I, you can, I want you to expect the unexpected, like with me. Like you're never gonna know where you're gonna get next. Like, even my music that I'm about to drop is like dif Ooh. different from like what I've done, you know? Can I get a little teaser, you know what I'm saying? For, 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 for <laughs> winging it, you know? I was like, what, what's the next project dropping? So I got my single, Open Invitation. That's my next single that's dropping. Okay. Um, Jacob shot the video. He's super Gee, dope. Jacob. <laughs> He's super dope. So um, yeah, I'm excited about that record. It features artists from all the way from Nigeria. Wow. So, something different. My first international collaboration. So wow, that's crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, that even that record, it's, it kind of sounds different than anything that I've done. So. Yeah, when yeah. what uh, when is that uh, uh, when's the record dropping? Uh it's supposed to drop sometime in April. So April. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay okay, tuned. okay. Yeah. Stay tuned. Like mid to late April. Stay tuned for that. Yeah. I love them, man. Yeah, yeah. And also like so besides this single, like what else what else can we expect from you, man? What else can you expect? You expect, expect more more collaborations, more tracks, more videos, more performances, Amazing. maybe another project potentially. Stay tuned okay. for that. Okay. And um just more fire, that's it. I yeah. love them, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, so we had we tried all the flavors today. You know, did, uh, after I tried all the wings, did you find your flavor? I did. I kind of like that uh, Korean was super dope. The Korean one? Yeah, that's my favorite one. I, 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 all I, these four? I messed with that one. That's it. I love that, man. I love that. Well, yo, Bugatti wants you, man. Thank you for coming through. Thank you guys for having me. I appreciate it. You want, you want to shout out your socials real quick? Yeah, yeah. So you guys can follow me on... Uh, Everything is Bugatti Bantu, you know, Instagram, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, like literally everything. Bugatti Bantu, TikTok, everything. Bugatti Bantu, B U G A T T I, Jeez. B O N S U. Follow me. Apple Pop Prince of the City, you feel me? So, come on, yeah. come on. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Thank you guys for watching this episode today. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to follow our network, the Moment Network, on all socials. It'll be down in the description below. It's Wing Yang, y'all. Feel by Wings of Kind. What's poppin', everybody? It's Buddy Bonsu, and I found my flavor on Wing It.